All right, so for the head, um, we have all these pieces here. Uh, yeah, that's these pieces are the head itself. Uh, what I definitely like about Code Bikini Kids is they do always give you clear parts, but what I like even better, color cleared parts. This is clear blue and it goes on, usually typically for the heads, especially on, um, specifically on armored core kits. So let's start this head. So the nice thing about getting these clear, these normal clear parts is if you don't want blue, maybe you want green or yellow or whatever, you can just go ahead and paint this, which I could have done myself also, but I, I, liked, I really like the, uh, the effect of the blue eyes. Wait a second. Alright. Just layer everything. Can you believe so many pieces make up a head that is no bigger than a 1 to 144 scale Gundam head? <laughs> Just think about that. A 1 to 144 uh, scale Gundam head compared to this. Typically, a 1 to 144 scale Gundam head, or not even a Gundam head, but a head that's made by a mobile suit from Bandai probably consists of no more than four pieces. This one is consisted of a whole bunch. Alright, so I kind of already connected the two neck pieces here. Um, what's next? Right. Ah, another one. I'll be so pissed if this was like a two-parter. I'm trying to do this both in one part. And to top it off, holy crap. Alright, and I think it goes on like that. And that is the head. You can kind of see the clear blue. That is nice. That is so nice. Well, we're done. Time to do the assembly in the next part. Catch you guys there. Before I forget, all these pieces here, all these parts, just to give you guys an idea of what you're going to be up against. The torso, right? You guys remember how many parts that took. Well, let me show you how many parts trees it took to make up that torso. One. Two. Excuse me. Three. Four. I might actually be missing a tree, maybe two trees, but um, you know what? Yeah, that's what you're gonna go up against. And to make it even worse, let me show you how many pieces it took to make a head. One, two, 
3 couple of polycaps yeah about 3-4 parts trees just for this little head right here which like I said is no bigger than a 1 to 1, well maybe slightly a bit bigger than a 1 to 1 44 scale Gundam head or a mobile suit head yeah just so you guys can get an idea of what you're up against and uh... yeah like I said next part comes the full assembly of the kit um, I, I will have to weather this thing down a little bit uh... the head maybe very slightly, I really like the detail on the head um... but at this point I'm kind of looking at the differences between weathered and not weathered and I actually would have been satisfied with it not weathered but who knows I might actually I might actually come out and get a, a second nine ball kit or maybe even get the uh, the CR nine eight e CRC nine eight e two unit the noir bar, uh, version which is the exact same kit exact same mold except it's um, it's gray black and silver uh, if you've seen that you know how awesome it looks so yeah um, my thoughts on now I'm satisfied, very satisfied. Yeah, there were some ups and downs in this kit. There were some pieces that broke, but hey, nothing that the, nothing that these guys could not fix. You know, the classic cements. Um, these these actually are really fun kits. I I would recommend if you, you know if you definitely want to stray away from Gundam for a little bit, then definitely Armored Core is a nice selection. Uh, of you know of kits you might want to like experiment with uh, prices for them are not too high but also not too cheap so an average kit like this one well nine balls is kind of I consider a special edition kind of not a special edition but a special kit special AC so it's gonna go for a little higher than the normal ones um, the older ones which actually do have re-releases now thanks to um, Code of Ikea, I don't know why they actually they re-released them you can find them in Hobby Link Japan as far as I know, but for me, I can get them locally. Um, so price range is between 30 to 80, 30 to 90 actually, depending on which ones you want. Especially the newer ones from the newer, um, the newer Armored Core games. Oh my God, they are so expensive. Like White Glint is expensive. The no, no, I don't know how to say it, so I'm sorry if I butcher it. The Noblesse Oblige. Uh, it's the it's the Hogeyer re-release, but it has these uh, these uh, laser cannons in the back that look like wings. I'm sure you guys know which one I'm talking about. So yeah, those are the more expensive ones. But these ones from the older series, the older ones, you're probably gonna go around 30 to 50 bucks if you want to go find them. But yeah, um, save. I'll save more of my thoughts later on when I actually do the review and stuff like that, or when I save for the assembly part. Yep. Um, Hope you guys have been actually inspired to go pick one up. I'm, I, I seriously recommend you try some of these things if you don't have it, uh, or if you have it. I'm sorry, but yeah, check it out and stick around for the assembly part and then the full review. Catch you guys later.